The true mark of genius is not perfection, but originality. So I take comfort in that when I feel like I'm, you know, making something that's not quite the way that the teacher would tell me to make it. I like stuff that you can tell somebody made it and cared about it and, and not like it was made by a machine. It's mixed media and it's uh, three-dimensional and it's narrative and it's a lot of it has moving parts kinetic and um, it's just kind of stories stories it's artwork that's as animated unrefined and whimsical as its creator Marilee Tompkins of Ellensburg Washington Marilee's work has been displayed in Europe New York Washington DC and in the Northwest Marilee says that over the years there has been more acceptance in the art world for her unconventional type of work I conjure <laughs> I just jump in there and, and uh, you know, it's, it's like, it's real hard. I have a hard time getting out of the studio. I think the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't know what else to do at this point. You know, I've been doing it for so long, but I, when I started out, I didn't stop to think about making a living. But it's just hard work. But once you get in there and start, uh, forget what time it is and uh, just get something, ha it all falls into place and it's just a good, that great high feeling and so I, that's what it's about for me. I just kind of roll with it, you know, start, I start off a point and go. Here's an example of my larger pieces. Um, this is called Looking for a Light and she's got a little candle here, smoking a pipe and this is sterling silver. A lot of times when I make larger pieces, I incorporate materials that I'm familiar with from making jewelry. And a lot of little, like her hands are copper. And, um, and she has an extra a surprise feature that her, oh, I can't reach. Her face comes off and then she's, you know, there's her little light. <laughs> and you can do this too. Much of Marilee's work is based on objects that she has found. I use just anything. I've, I've used dirt and moss and diamonds and, you know, um, a, lot, a lot of the little found objects are things that my father had. He was a real collector. He had this whole wall at home of uh, all empty Brown and Haley candy boxes full of little things. And I used to just sneak in there and look at them. And, so it's kind of, it's, I kind of enjoy that because it's like I'm sending him out again and my dad was a, he was always tinkering with stuff. He'd go to junk stores and get parts of broken glasses and cannibalize them and put them together and make stuff. So I was kind of surrounded by that. Marilee found much of her inspiration from her own family. Her brother Don was also an artist and art teacher at Central Washington University. Marilee attended Central for a while and even took classes from her brother. When I was going to Central, I decided to take a quarter off and go to this big city and get a job. And, and while I was there, I got hooked up with a gallery and was offered a show. And it sold out, so I just thought, well, this is pretty good. I'll just do this. Marilee displayed her work at various galleries in Seattle. Her career was going strong in the 1970s and 80s. This is a pretty old piece. I think I made this in 1976. It's a portrait of a friend of mine who used to hang art shows. He's got a, a level and a plumb bob, and it's called How to Improve Your Picture, and you, he pounds on the TV with his beer bottle and his plant jumps up. And then on the back, he kept changing his hairstyles every couple of years back in the 70s. First he got a perm here. So I made these little wigs. Here's his punk one, it's pink. And then you can just put it on him. There, see, now he's discoed up. In the late 1980s, Marilee took a break from her career and began raising a family of her own. And now, her artwork is making a comeback. Well, from here, I just would like to uh, just keep at it. 
I'd like to have a larger studio so I could do more bigger pieces. But so far I just kind of go in a corner and get on the table and <laughs> clear everything off. So but I think, you know, I'm just I like I like what I'm doing now and I'll just kind of it just kind of moves ahead on its own. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.